Okay, so I'm finally doing another video after trying to catch up with Breaking Bad. It's a really awesome series, and that there's a little mark, there's a little marketing there. But in this video, we're gonna talk about quantifiers, and quantifiers is a really important concept that shows up in discrete mathematics, and I'm pretty sure that in most tests you would have to deal with quantifiers, so it's good to pay attention here. So we're gonna start it off with the definition now. The first definition that I have is a declarative statement is an open statement if uh, there are three cases. If it contains one or more variables and it is not a statement but it becomes a statement when the variables in it are replaced by certain allowable choices. So for example, the number x plus 2 is an even integer. Now this would be an open statement. There is a restriction of a certain allowable choices and that restriction is restricted to integers because it says the number x plus 2 is an even integer. Now these allowable choices, this restrictions, it constitutes what is called the universe for the open statement. If we said that this letter is a part of this many letters then those letters are are what can sell or are what makes up the universe so well that's kind of a bad example but yeah for integers for example positive negative integers that would be a universe rational numbers uh, decimals those are universes now the integers the universe for integers only consists of like numbers one two three four five six whole numbers now that's uh, that's what a universe is and when we talk about an open statement we we're just saying that it contains one or more variables it is not a statement so this is not a statement but it will become a statement when this variable x is replaced by something um, from the universe so if you put in three then that would be a statement from the universe okay so moving on um, so let's have, wait, hold on a minute, just to make sure we covered everything. So moving on, we have these three statements or open statements. Px denote the number x plus 2 is an even integer. Negated Px it, uh, represents the number x plus 2 is not an even integer. And Qxy, that would represent an open statement that contains two variables. Now, for example, the numbers y plus 2, x minus y, and x plus 2y are even integers. Now, with px and qx plus y as above, the universe still concerns itself with integers. And only we can only make replacements for it. When we make replacements for x, y, for example, we get, if we put in 5 for x, we get uh, 5 plus 2 because we replace x, x by 5 and uh, we get a uh, 7 is an even integer. Well, that's not true. Now, p7, uh, 7 plus 2 replacing uh, 7 by x equals 9 is not an even integer. So this one's true. And for the last one, q42, we replace x by 4, 2 by y, and what we get is. Uh, well, taking 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2, and x, which is 4, 4 plus uh, 2, 2 is 8, and they are all even integers. So, using what we know there, we replaced our x with an integer, and we found out the, the validity of the statements, so we found out that this is actually false. This is actually true, and this is true. So there's a, that's a little something, a little introduction of universes and open statements. Now for the next video, we will talk more about what I have here because it continues on to the next page. But I think this is good enough for a brief introduction, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.